My name is Professor John McGrath and I am a dermatologist, an academic dermatologist who specialises in genetic skin disease and particularly in epidermolysis bullosa or EB. There are about half a million people in the world who've got EB, but most people have never met anybody with EB. But what is EB all about? It's about damage to the skin resulting in blisters. The tiniest knock to the skin can cause blisters and sores and wounds and can be associated with itch and pain. And it can be a very devastating condition for many individuals. We tend to divide EB up into four main types, simplex, junctional, dystrophic and kindler. And each of those has different problems. All of them have fragility of the skin, but some of them also have blisters and sores affecting other parts of the body, including the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the esophagus, and many internal organs as well. Collectively, EB is a group of conditions that really causes pain and suffering. And that's why we have to study it as researchers and dermatologists and do something about it in terms of coming up with new treatments that can improve quality of life and deliver a life free of pain. I started my career in dermatology and I was very fortunate to receive funding from DEBRA to become the first DEBRA Research Fellow. And from that moment onwards, I was hooked. I was down to try and do something for people with EB. And over the years, we've made some progress thanks to funding from DEBRA and other organisations. What we've been able to do is accurately look at people with EB, diagnose EB, and then start to think, what can we do for treatment? We have begun various clinical trials, and sometimes we've pursued something called intention to cure, where we can use gene therapy and cell therapy and so on. And DEBRA has been wonderful in funding clinical trials, and those are still ongoing. And that's a vital part of our research endeavors. We're making just a little progress in that area and there are many people with EB who are not having access to that type of therapy. So we've got to think of doing something alongside that treatment and that's where this idea of drug repurposing comes in. What does that mean? What it really means is taking some medications that are already out there, being used for other conditions in medicine and in dermatology and trying to repurpose them to bring them into the treatment for EB. For example, there are new drugs out there for treating patients with eczema and psoriasis, people who've got itchy and inflamed skin because of those conditions. But many of the lessons we learn from studying eczema and psoriasis apply to EB. EB skin is itchy, EB skin is painful. There are often wounds which are slow to heal. And so if we can use those medications that are out there already and repurpose them for use in EB, then it means we can deal with EB problems much more quickly. We can help the itching, we can help the pain, we can improve the wound healing just by giving an existing medication to people who are suffering from EB. And that's great because it means we can change lives much more quickly. But to do that, of course, we need to use the right medication and to be sure that we're using the right medication, we have to do clinical trials. And that means an ongoing effort to raise funds to try and let us do those clinical trials. Those clinical trials might cost anything between 300 and 500,000 pounds just to study one of these particular drugs. But when those trials are completed, it means that doctors like me can write prescriptions for these drugs, these medications, repurpose them, to improve the lives of people who have EB. And that will make a huge difference to many thousands of people in the UK and beyond. Treating EB and developing new treatments often takes a long time. Many of the studies using gene therapy and cell therapy have taken 10 to 15 years to try and bring forward closer to clinic. With drug repurposing, we hope we can cut that time quite considerably 
down to just a few years. A few years where we can take a medication that's out there for patients with eczema or psoriasis and begin to prescribe it for people who have EB. And that will make a huge difference to living with EB, to improving all those symptoms and just being able to say, yes, we are treating EB in a better way. So drug repurposing for people with EB means that we can change the very nature of EB. We can reduce pain, we can reduce itching, we can reduce scarring. Many symptoms we can actually make them much less. And that's great because it means we'll be changing the course of EB. We will be modifying the disease, we'll be making it milder, and we're making EB just a little bit better to live with. It won't be a cure, but it will change dramatically the way that we can actually say, yes, the lives of people with EB are definitely improving thanks to drug repurposing. I've been involved in looking after people with EB in my clinics for 30 years. And I've also been a researcher trying to develop better diagnostic tests and most importantly, more effective therapies and treatments for people who have EB. And what I've learned during those 30 years is just how devastating and impactful EB can be on individuals who suffer from terrible wounds, itching and pain, and the impact that EB has on their families and friends as well, and just the daily living tasks that one tries to do. It's all so badly disrupted by EB. You cannot imagine a condition that could be any worse than EB. And that's why all of us must work together to try to develop something better, to deliver a life free of pain for people who live with this condition would be a wonderful achievement. And I hope that working together, we can do just that. And that's why Deborah needs your help.